Hello, my little peanuts. Welcome back to a new reading adventure with Miss Sylvia at Reading for Purpose. I hope you all had a beautiful day and I am so excited that we are sharing our time together to experience a new learning journey. So sit back and remember, pay close attention to see what lessons you can learn so that you can apply them to your life to be the blessing that the Lord God has called you to be. Let's get started. Today's story is called Love You, Little Peanut. And the back of the book says, Little Peanut, you've captured my heart. From park swings and fireflies to bedtime kisses. And big dreams snuggle up with your little one who will always be your little peanut. Wow. And the book is written by Annette Berlin and it's illustrated by Rosalind Bonnet. My little peanut, you've captured my heart and filled me with happiness right from the start. I'm your biggest fan and I can't wait to see where your feet will take you and who you will be. The adventures we'll have each day as you grow. Just wait, little peanut, there's so much to know. At night, we'll share stories or maybe tall tales of giants and lizards and huge talking whales. Together, we'll travel to forests so green and climb a tall tree and then splash in a stream. To meadows we'll roam for some butterfly races, and then lay on the grass, feel the sun on our faces. We'll go to the park, roll and play on the ground. The sound of your laughter, the best gift around. You'll swing on a swing that will send you so high. I'll give you a push and help you reach the sky. That evening we'll gaze at the moon and the stars and then we'll catch fireflies in our glass jars. And when the day's over, you'll hop in the bath, wash dust from your face, and give dad a big splash. It's time for pajamas and saying goodnight. We share hugs and kisses. I tug you in tight. And as you drift off, cuddled up in your bed, I try to imagine what dreams lie ahead. One day you'll be my size, perhaps even taller. I'll still call you Peanut and wish you were smaller. You'll truly the great, you're truly the greatest, the best kid on earth and nothing comes close to the treasure you're worth. And as you get older, I'll be by your side, cheering you on, peanut, beaming with pride. I love you so much and in so many ways. You're my little peanut for now and always. Beautiful, right? The book was filled with so many different animals telling the story to show us that 
just like you, just like the animals in the book, there are different animals, right? Just like us, there's different people and we come all from different walks of life. But the amazing thing is that we're surrounded by people we love. And if we're living and you're saying, Miss Sylvia, I'm not surrounded by people I love. Well, you know, that's where you're wrong. God places people in our lives. Sometimes we know them and sometimes we don't. For instance, you don't know Miss Sylvia, but Miss Sylvia loves you. And you'd be like, Miss Sylvia, you don't know me. You can't love me. Well, that's wrong. You're beautiful. You're gifts of God. And the Lord has given me this privilege to share this channel so I can be able to read books to you guys. And while I'm reading to you, um, not only Christian books, but secular books, I'm reading to you and I'm showing you the love of God. In every book that I'm reading, I'm reading to you and showing you that God is in everything. And in everything, we're supposed to surrender our lives to him and he can make the difference. So I love you and you guys are, are important. Why? Because I can bring you up to the Lord and I can say, Lord Jesus, please let this channel be where you can reach lives, where you can show children and adults how precious they are in your sight. And whether things are good or whether things are bad, that you, God, are in control and you will make way for your glory, that people can see Jesus and everything. So that's how Miss Sylvia loves each and every one of you. And I am so blessed to know that God has this channel open not only to bless you with stories, but to bless you in seeing the true purpose that we're here on this earth. And that is to be the light of Christ Jesus, that he can permeate from us how? Because I surrender to say, Lord Jesus, I want you to be my everything and I want you to use me so I can be a blessing to others. And that through me, he can reach you, however it may be, whether it's giving you a verse of the day, whether it's sharing a story and showing purpose in that story, whether it's sharing a Bible verse, whether it's sharing a worship song, or whether it's sharing just the words of life that God has ordained specifically for you. So in this story, we get to see that just like the animals, yes, we're all different, but we're created by God Almighty and we're loved and we're his children. Yes, we're in families. Sometimes half, some of us may have families. Sometimes there's people that don't have families. But one thing for sure, we are children of the most high God and we have purpose and we have destiny. And when we surrender our lives to him, that purpose, that destiny, that dream that God has specifically ordained for each and every one of us, comes true so whatever you're going through know that you are loved know that you are precious and know that God is watching over you and the people that he puts in your life such as Miss Sylvia are blessings and we want the best for you and we pray for you and I ask you again if you have any prayers if you have any concerns please feel free to put it in the comment and know that you're not alone people do care for you and remember that God is for you and through you he can make great change he could bring the difference not only in your life personally but when God is blessing you and God makes a difference for you it's so that you can go out and bless others so that you can go out and share the good news and so that you can go out and do what God has ordained you to, ordained for you to do I'm so sorry for you to do why because you're his little peanut and know that you're loved and always I look forward to our next reading adventure and I thank you again and please feel free not only to hit the like button but to subscribe and leave me a comment speak up speak out and declare God's glory in your life because he loves you and I can't wait to see you soon bye and here is the word of God for you to think on meditate and live out by the power of the Holy Spirit for the glory of Christ it's written in Galatians 3 26 for ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. That is amazing. So once again, I hope that you have a blessed day. And I hope that you're just excited as I am for our next reading adventure. See you soon. Bye.